This episode of Variant is brought to you by Audible.com. Today on Variant, I'm going to highlight comic book publisher Image Comics. Like a boss. Welcome to Variant, where we love comics more than this kid needs anger management. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. Today I decided to do a publisher-themed episode all about Image Comics, being that they're one of my favorite comic book publishers. I'll be doing publisher-themed episodes from time to time, but like I just said, today it's going to be all about Image. So I'm going to talk about some of their awesome titles and the ones you should be reading right now, since people are asking me that all the time. So think of this as an Image Comics prolonged buy list of sorts. So with that said, let's get the good comic book reading material a-flowing. The first comic I want to mention from Image is Near Death. It's about a killer who has a near death experience in a botched mission. And from there on out, he vows to save a life for every life he's taken. I absolutely love the art and the concept of this comic I think is brilliant. It makes me feel as if I'm watching a great crime movie or something, and it has some really great action scenes in it. And the main character, Mark Ham, is a bam. Speaking of crime books, this next comic is also a crime book called Thieve of Thieves. It's written by the creator of The Walking Dead, Robert Kurtman, but this book is about a man named Conrad Paulson who lives a double life as a master thief known as Redman. He's kind of like Dexter from the TV show Dexter, except instead of having a compulsion to kill, he has a compulsion to steal or else he doesn't feel alive. So seeing the struggle with that and still loving his ex-wife and living this whole double life and trying to right his wrongs is really intriguing. Now, I've mentioned this before in my buy list segment and said how awesome it is, and apparently AMC thinks so too, because they're in development to make this into a TV series like they've already done with Robert Kurtman's The Walking Dead. The man just keeps pumping out great material, so if you're a fan of crime or mystery, both Near Death and Thieve of Thieves are definitely up your alley. Another comic I'm really enjoying right now from Image is Fatal. It's a supernatural noir book. It blends noir and horror perfectly. And anyone who knows me knows I love both. The comic looks elegant yet gory at the same time, which sounds like an oxymoron, but trust me, it does. Fans of Sin City will also love this as it lives within the same genre. It is written by Ed Brubaker and drawn by Sean Phillips, who are the same duo responsible for comics like Sleeper, Criminal, and Incognito. Brubaker has also written for Captain America and Avengers vs. X-Men. Phillips worked on one of my favorite titles of all time, Marvel Zombies. So, needless to say, these are two very talented dudes. Moving on, let me start by saying Star Wars is probably one of my favorite franchises ever, and Game of Thrones seems to be pretty universally loved. So, what would happen if you mixed the two and made a comic out of it? You would get Saga, which is written by Brian K. Vaughn, who is the mastermind responsible for Why the Last Man, which is one of my favorite comic series and concepts. Saga, however, is a sci-fi action book about two parents named Marco and Elena who risk everything to raise their child amidst a never-ending galactic war. I want to emphasize the galactic war part from that sentence. So again, galactic war. Come on. Another comic that I recently just got into is Grim Leaper. It's a gory romantic comedy of goodness and fun. It's about a guy named Lou who gets caught in a curse of violent deaths and has new beginnings in the bodies of strangers, but has no idea why. Lou's trying to break free from this curse and just be dead in peace, but then a girl comes along with the same exact curse, and then he's all like, hey mommy, how you doing? Looking good. But not really but still exactly like that. I really like how the comic follows both of them trying to be with each other, even though their curse makes it nearly impossible. It's a unique twist to a love story with plenty of gory fun, so mix a romantic comedy like Just Friends and a gory movie like Saw, and you get this comic. Well, kinda. Give or take. Okay, not really but it's in the ballpark. It is written by Curtis J. Weeb, who is also writing another great series from Image called Debris, which is about ancient aliens attacking remaining survivors on a rotting, doomed planet Earth, as well as his other ongoing series called Peter Panzerfaust. Check that out as well. Now, before I give you some more titles from Image that I love, let's get to know the publisher a little bit more in a Did You Know segment. <laughs> No Image Comics was founded by seven artists which include Eric Larson, best known for his work on Amazing Spider-Man and Savage Dragon, Jim Lee who is now co-publisher at DC, Rob Liefeld known for his work on X-Force, Todd McFarlane known for Spawn and his work on Spider-Man, Wills Portacio and Mark Silvestri both known for their work on Uncanny X-Men, and Jim Valentino best known for working on Guardians of the Galaxy. They created Image due to not being treated fairly with some of their past work at another company, and as a way where creators could publish their own material without giving up the copyright for the characters they've created and Image has become one of the largest comic book publishers ever since. Some of the titles they are best known for are Savage Dragon, Spawn, The Walking Dead, The Darkness, and Witchblade. Image is in what I like to call the big three of the comic book world alongside Marvel and DC. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. 
Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash variant to get your free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash variant for your free audiobook. Moving back to some of my favorite titles from Image, one book that's just all around fun is Skull Kickers. It's just freaking funny and epic. Fans of the movie Army of Darkness will love it as it follows that same sort of tone. The comic is about two mercenaries who are hysterical and they basically just beat up werewolves and skeletons and all sorts of monsters and supernatural cool things because all they really want is fame and money. This is just one of those comics that's just fun to read, kind of like this. Anyone who knows me knows I love three things, my wife, anything comic book related, and zombies. Okay, and my parents, so four. But zombies are awesome, and if you love zombies, you're definitely gonna need to check out Alpha Girl. The comic has been on my bias before, and that's for good reason, friends. It's about a 17-year-old girl named Judith who must break her brother out of juvie after a third-rate cosmetic company makes a pheromone that turns women into man-eating zombies. The comic has a lot of funny moments in it. It's always funny to see teenagers interact in panic and tense moments. So if you enjoy zombie-type movies like Shaun of the Dead and Zombieland, you definitely need to check this out. While I'm on the topic of zombies, I can't say zombies and comics in the same sentence and not at least acknowledge The Walking Dead comic. Obviously, it's one of Image's most popular titles, if not the most popular, and I don't even think I need to go into much detail about it because I'm sure everybody knows or has heard about The Walking Dead, especially with it having its own TV series, which is actually getting its third season soon, which I'm super excited for. It's definitely one of my favorite zombie comics that's out, but a brief rundown for those of you who don't know what The Walking Dead is all about. It's about a cop who gets shot, wakes up from a coma, where there's a world filled with The Walking Dead. I just explained what the comic and TV show is all about using its own name. Talk about full circle. And my final image title for those of you who love superhero comics is Invincible, which I'm sure most of you diehard comic book readers out there like me are reading already. But nonetheless, it's a great comic about a superpowered boy who's vowed to defend the Earth. It is also written by the very busy Robert Kirkman. But those are all of my favorite image comic books right now, but I would love to know what are some of your favorite titles from Image. So head over to our very Facebook page and let me know what you think there. First up for Wednesday, September 5th, we have Detective Comics Issue Zero. We'll be getting a bit of Batman's origin in this issue, like how he became a master of martial arts and how a major villain was introduced in his life. Next we have Green Lantern Issue Zero. In this issue, we will be getting the introduction and origin of a surprising new Green Lantern. Here we have Amazing Spider-Man 693. An all new character joins the Marvel Universe in this issue, and I'm very curious. Now we have Fatal Issue 8. I just mentioned this title a couple of minutes ago, so I think you should know all the reasons you need to be reading this. Next we have First X-Men Issue 2. Now, I haven't really read any of these issues yet, but I'm interested because it has Wolverine and Sabretooth trying to get Magneto to help them. And finally, we have Thieve of Thieves Issue 8. This is one I just talked about and I'm loving, so yeah, I don't think I need to say much more about it. Well, that's it for today on Variant. Remember, you can like Variant on our Facebook page. The link is here below. We try to post some cool stuff from time to time. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Aris underscore Quinones or like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the Aris Quinones. I love chatting with all you guys. Also, you can leave your comments and thoughts below Below, but I'll see you next week when I talk about random comic book goodness on the internet. It's gonna be fun, and, and it'll make sense next week. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, That's the worst beatbox um, I've ever heard. Oh, oh, I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm gonna tighten it up. That was incredible. I know.